If you had never seen a bow weevil, here's one. Uh, and if you're going to continue to be in the cotton business, if you want to grow cotton in the future, uh, that, that we cannot let this weevil reinfest the cotton fields. In the 1800s, cotton production represented a significant economic driver in the economies of southern states, especially for rural areas. When the boll weevil entered the lower Rio Grande Valley of Texas in 1892, cotton producers found themselves facing an enemy capable of destroying their entire crop. And if you hadn't been through it, it's probably hard to understand. <clears throat> but it was a it was a fight. I mean, um, you know, every week, you know, late in the season, August and September was off. You just you couldn't go in the field without just bow weevils being all over you. You could literally see a hundred percent damage in the field. Every square, every bloom, every bowl in the field infested with bow weevils. And I don't think any other pest today has that has that potential to cause damage. I have a map in my briefcase that shows the, the, the path of that bow weevil as it traveled into Texas from Mexico. And when you see that track of the bow weevil, uh, and you see where it came from, and you see the dates on that map that show how long it took to get from South Texas to the Carolinas. Uh, it would scare you to death. One single invasive pest began a march across the southern United States, destroying farms and local economies along its path. Various studies suggest the boll weevil was responsible for annual losses of $200 million. The research for boll weevil elimination experienced rapid growth, as did congressional appropriations. The support was solidified as scientists developed and conducted area-wide eradication studies and eventually a large-scale pilot study. Growers in the eradication area experienced 60 to 90 percent reduction in foliar pesticide application. And if I remember right, the number we had an 86 percent decline applications in the state of Arizona. Due to the success of the pilot eradication program, the U.S. National Boll Weevil Eradication Program was launched as a partnership between U.S. growers, USDA, APHIS, and Congress. We've been very, very fortunate to have partnered with USDA APHIS and uh, the federal government on a 30% cost share. The largest eradication program in history gained support and personal engagement of producers across the U.S. cotton belt. As boll weevil eradication successfully eliminated the boll weevil across the U.S. I was. Others were skeptical this could actually be done, but it, it was done, and it was a phenomenal effort, and we need to do everything that we can to uh, stay where we are as far as having boll weevil eradicated. But we know the benefits of it. <clears throat> in 1994, Georgia put in 17 new gins, and it was direct response to the fact that we got rid of the bow weevil. The cotton industry recognized the potential challenge associated with a successful eradication along the border of Mexico. A binational engagement with Mexico was sought to prevent bow weevil migration back into eradicated U.S. lands. Collaboration with Chihuahua, Mexico resulted in successful eradication of the bow weevil and provided security for adjacent eradicated areas in Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. As a matter of fact, I farm organic. I feel that I'm probably the guy that benefited the most from the whole program. And everything worked out great. We eventually eradicated the weevil. I think we've eradicated for nine or 10 years now. It's been gone and it's been a blessing. Now, the remaining area containing boll weevil populations is an area of the lower Rio Grande Valley of Texas and the adjacent area of northern Tamaulipas, Mexico. In 2016, the U.S. cotton industry recognized the continual challenge to complete eradication was associated with pest migration from Tamaulipas, Mexico. The entire cotton industry has identified the lower Rio Grande Valley of Texas as the National Boll Weevil Buffer Zone, an area protecting the entire U.S. eradication efforts. The entire U.S. eradication effort faces a unique challenge to succeed in an area under different governmental jurisdiction which also contains the remaining active boll weevil populations. The boll weevil buffer zone is of national importance to protect cotton producers, rural economies, and the federal investment in eradication in the rest of the U.S. The 2019 harvested U.S. cotton acreage exceeded 11 million acres, with approximately 200,000 acres remaining in the national buffer zone. This is a relatively small area protecting a massive investment. First of all, if, if we 
found some boll weevils, I would do everything in my power <laughs> to control them uh, so that they wouldn't spread. The National Buffer Zone represents the battlefront line that must be maintained as cooperation with Tamaulipas, Mexico, enables completion of the U.S. eradication of the boll weevil. All accomplishments of the boll weevil eradication program will be lost without full support of the National Buffer Zone. <laughs>